Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy Juana 300, aka JL3, back with another episode of Vampire. Now, guys, first off, I do want to say it has been a while since I did a video. I know you guys probably been wondering what's been going on. I had a lot going on, but but I got everything taken care of. Everything's all good. So your boy's finally back in action. Hey guys, first off, I do want to say I hope everybody did have a happy Halloween and safe Halloween. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys had some nice candy. You guys get to dress up as your favorite, um, whoever you like to dress up as. You know, your favorite movie, hero, um, monster, anime, whatever you guys like to dress up as. I hope you guys was able to do it and make it all happen. I hope you guys had a good time. But guys, before we get started with this awesome video, if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you guys do Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, ring the bell notification to become part of the 300 army. And guys, without further ado, let's get back in it. So, I believe last episode, uh, if I remember correctly, we went to this underground sewer and we found a home of our uh, enemies that we've been fighting. The home of the Scowls. And we talked to the lady who is um, the watch, the person that watches over them or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, but she's supposed to be like somebody important to the scow. So and we're going to try to go talk to our old friend and see what she's doing down here. And hopefully get some uh, if for more information. You know what I'm saying? This game has been very, very goodly story driven. It's been fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I want to say I'm, I'm really glad to finally be back. It's been a minute. So let's make this happen. And without further ado, guys, I love you all. Let's get back in it. All right, so we need to talk to Miss Harriet Jones. Oh dear. Sir, are you gonna fight me? Oh, Bridget, allowed me to wander above some years back. It was unpleasant. Okay, bro. Okay. What about you, sir? Can I talk to you? We're at your mercy. Will you end us? <laughs> uh, you are at my mercy. I've destroyed so many of your kind. All right, let's see. Is this Miss Harriet's room? No, that's not. Where is she? She she's somewhere around up in here. Is she up farther? Hello. How is London? I've not seen beyond these walls in such a long time. London's great, my friend. London is doing great. Without you. Sick monsters running around killing everybody. Let's see. How do I find her? Is she down here, maybe? Is she downstairs? Oh, Harriet Jones. There she is. She's inside this. She's over here. Hello, sir. What the hell? All right, uh, Miss Harriet Jones. Yes. Before I talk to you, let me steal your valuable loot, please, ma'am. Thank you. I'm a doctor, so I need to steal your stuff for medical reasons. Thank you. All right, let's talk to her. Hello there. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm. Yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor, so full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. What the hell has happened to her? Uh, why well, fake your death? I have an important question. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ask her all these. But first, I'm going to ask her, how do you feel? No, I'm going to ask her, why did you come here? Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Oh, you'd leave me be. Will you obey old Bridget? Do you desire to stay here? So you desire to stay here? Yes, I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet, always alone. Hmm. Um, why fake your death? Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. 
but the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Can you eat or drink? Is it yeah, can you do anything? Have you tried to eat or drink something. People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Why does her arm look so massive? All right, let's go ahead and ask for the billion dollar question. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? I'm no scowl. I'm nothing like you. We're both. We are both undead. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. This seems like a more logical answer. I don't want to piss her off or anything. So. We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that murdered man? Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... It whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Okay. That is, um, pretty creepy. Oh, God! Woman, don't stand at the door like that. What's up with you? Did you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. Why live here? Who are you? How long have you been hiding here? Yes! How long have you been down here in the sewers, you creepy woman? For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? 
We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Who are you? Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. What happened to you? Yes. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Okay. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light, and of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Your diction, your words. Oh crap, you I didn't mean to do that. Carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. Can I be of service to you, Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Okay. I will not do that. Alright, let's tell them to talk about Miss Harriet, please. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. All right. So now, we gotta get back to Sean. So we need to go find these arrows. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. I am not your master, sir. I am but a humble vampire. Searching for answers. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. That is right. You will trust me. I think I went the wrong way, so I'm gonna go back downstairs. Guys, I gotta say, this game is... The more I play this game, the more driven the story gets. Like, the story is getting better and better. Though we still don't have a lot of answers on what's going on right now, it's still pretty crazy. Oh, here we go. Arrows up here. There are arrows here. Yep. But yeah, it's it's a pretty good game. I mean, I'm enjoying this as much as I can. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm taking things slowly, but surely things are getting pretty awesome. Pretty sure we're finally going to get some answers around here eventually at some point. Ooh. All right, Sean, I'm coming back to your quarters. You better have me some tea and crumpets. You dirty man.
Alright, let's see. The hell? Alright, dead bodies. Oh god. A lot of dead bodies in here. What the hell? Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You hide your game well, you have some nerve. You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed, one and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is old Bridget? Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Okay. Um, I don't trust you, spare. I envy the peace. Okay. We know he hasn't killed anybody. He helped us find Harriet. He's been loyal. He's been helping the scowls and Miss Old Bridget. I don't know if I should not trust him. I can see why uh, Dr. Reed doesn't trust him, but at the same time, I'm going to do what I think is the right decision here, which is um, hopefully doesn't come back and bite me, but I'm going to just spare this man. And hopefully he stays on a good path because I feel like he is in a good path. He just, you know, it's because it's like, you know, he, his actions are actually doing good, but to others it seems like it's bad and risky. But, you know, I feel like that's probably what it is, but I'm going to just go ahead and let him live. I mean, well, not let him live, but, you know, spare him, so... <sighs> Let's hope this makes the right decision, guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should have took him in? Or not? Let me know in the comments. I believe you, Sean. In fact, 
I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. All right. Hit fail. Why do you keep saying hit fail? What is this? You know what? I don't even care about these hints anymore. I demand. Sean. I can't even talk to you no more. Okay. Wait, where do I go? Rest to evolve? What do I do? Do I just go? Do I leave? How do I leave? Oh. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Why is that in his hands? 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Chapter three. Um, what? What were we? Locate the man's uh, flat in the borough. Such flat. All right. Another journey. Another adventure. And still an endless cycle of questions. <sighs> Don't you just love this game, guys? Are there any enemies nearby? I feel like there's gonna be some enemies here. They'll be killing them all. I know they kept respawning in the last episode. I know we kept dealing with them because they kept they would not stop respawning. But we'll see. The sewer dogs fault they say, then the gangs, the epidemics, everyone throwing the blame. The moron had me laughing at first. Is that a train out here? Wait, can I not get it through here? What the hell? I don't see how they claim this district to be... Oh. Come on, I don't want to waste no time with these guys. I really don't. I need to try to hurry up and get to this area. Wait, Pembroke Hospital. Hold on, do I need to go? I think I went the wrong way. What must I do? What must I do? 
Yeah, I think I definitely went the wrong way. Yeah, it has been a while since we have been to the hospital. It's been a long time. What the f Yo! Ah, uh, you said there's more than one? What the? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh dear god. Oh no! Ow! Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Come on, come on, come on! Go, 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 go! We good? I think we're good. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I need to I need to rest. I need to rest. Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Oh my gosh. Uh, how do we evolve? I need to evolve. Hmm. Oh yeah, body. What is this? Increase your stamina, increase your health. Yeah, I, I definitely need to increase my health. That's the one thing I need to do. The following night. Okay. Let you guys read that while pausing the screen. I cannot enter. Bro, oh, open the door. What do you mean? Can okay. Is there a workbench in here? There is. Okay, I need to build some stems. I've been through here before. Hmm. Okay, we're getting close. We're on the right path. I feel like this is a it's like an ambush spot. There we go. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. Well, no shoot, there's been a fight here, sir. There's a giant hole right here. There's furniture everywhere. There's broken wood. Look at all this. There's blood. A lot of it, too. Jeez. Let's go downstairs. Hello? Vampire here. Housekeeping? I'm trying to search this whole house to make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. Follow the blood trail. Okay. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Alright, 
let's go. Let's find, follow this blood trail. Hope that we'll find our culprit. Oi, you listening? Sir, right now. sir, I really don't have time for this. But if you get in my way. Now then. Cross all these streets to let her expire and be found here. You're surprising. Occasionally, you make a good point. How's that? We're being misled. Or worse, we're being baited by leeches playing a nasty game. Yum yum! Yum yums! Ow! Ow! Mother! Who is this? For death, the flower in the course of state search your pockets for death. What happened to her? The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Hmm. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. I see you. What the hell? Who's that? Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. Follow the shadowy figure. I don't think I want to follow that shadowy figure, but darn it. Yeah, it's gonna be doing it anyway. Oh gosh. The hell? Let's go. The hell did he go? What? Jump down? Or something? What the hell? Oh. Yep, like I said, guys, this game is just getting better and better by the episode. Kind of curious on how this game's gonna end. Very curious. Jonathan, what was bro. That? Oh, I see you. Hey. I won't let you escape. I will find you, woman. Very fast, but I'll catch you. Come back here. They've all been butchered. Ah, oh, jeez. Poor souls. Guess I'll steal their loot. I can still sense a presence. Hello? What the hell? Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, 
Oh, I can't see. What? Where's everyone supposed to be going? They're supposed to be going this way. That's a dead skull. Uh, okay. I think I may have lost this person. Oh, wait, maybe I have it. Hold on. Hold on. We go right back on the trail, I think. Yep, yeah, we're definitely on the trail. What the hell? Who is this woman? Where is she? Where'd she go? Hello? In the name of Christ, someone help me! What the hell? You! What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of perdition! Vicar! <laughs> Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Wait. Returned from the dead. Like who's, your Christ, Vicar. Who's that? Mary. Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What? What's mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, Grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were. In front of me. On a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy. To tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge, vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. 
All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes. I'll go home. And rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular, that of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. Wait, what the hell? Oh, God! Hold on! I was not ready for this. I was not ready for this. Oh, God! Mary! Oh, God! To me, Jonathan. Oh, what the hell? Can I not? Come on. You've spared the precious nurse crane, but not your own Mary. Are you serious? You killed what have you done? Oh dear God. Oh god. Oh get away, get away, get away, get away. Woo! Woo! Oh god! Ow! Ow! Turn it! Just to die for. Gotta be kidding me, dude. You left me to rot in this grave. Wait, did she get her health back? Oh my god. What the hell? I'm gonna die. I'm literally about to die. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna beat her. I'm gonna, I'm, I might die this time. But I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Damn it! Mary! Mary! God darn it. Okay. I think when she killed the priest, she got her. She still beat my body. She is beating my dead body. What the hell? Okay. That kind of caught me off guard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That I was not expecting us to fight, but... Okay. Wait, what? Where am I? Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Stop Mary. Here we go. Jonathan, kill him. I'm sorry, Doctor. True nature. I gotta put you down, woman. You are not my sister anymore. Mother.
Are you kidding me? Jeez. You've spared the precious nurse crane, but not your own Mary. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Help me. I'm losing my powers. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. Darn it. You left me to rot. Because you spared Sean Hampton. Don't expect the same mercy from me. Come to me, Jonathan. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Assassin! Take another one, take another one. Oh, that was too close. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Dodge game, don't flee. Come here. Die. Oh, that was too close. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know, I will not play this game. Come now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. Oh, no. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. At last, I can forgive you. No! Mary! Why, oh, she's still blinking. What the hell? Darn it. No! Why? It's so sad. I thought Mary. Oh my gosh. How did she become a vampire? Or when did she become a vampire? I mean. Where are we taking her? Oh. Never mind. There's a grave right there. Darn it. Why are we in so much pain and suffering in this game? Not fair, it's not right. A few nights later, and we got a trophy for that. It's called Hail Mary. That's funny. Ah, oh, man, this game, guys. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. 
I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Chapter 4, Rising Fever. Alright, who's this? Lady Ashbury's um, invitation. Okay. Um. All right, you guys can read that. I'm pausing that. Meet Lady Ashbury in the West End. We're back at the hospital. That was a, a crazy, crazy boss fight. But guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I got to admit, this was a crazy episode and a very, very crazy plot twist. <laughs> I was not expecting this and I was definitely not expecting us to fight her, fight Mary. Um, but I got to say, this game is just getting better and better. I'm really, really enjoying the story. But guys, I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm like I said, I'm do apologize that I've been away so long, but I'm finally back. So not to worry, guys. Our videos are going to start coming back, and also the live streams are going to start back coming as well. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. But guys, I want to say I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this episode. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions and everything. But like I said, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode. Much love. Y'all keep it 300 as always. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Much love. Peace out, guys.